Hi, everybody. It's June 17, 2021. I hope to do my part two after this video on those Trump supporters, that January 6 insurrection, um, the evidence that an awful lot of what took place was not from Trump supporters. Um, but we've got, we have Americans in solitary confinement, 23 hours a day, okay. We have Trump supporters being picked up. In fact, a couple, married couple, just today. Okay, I'll get into that. But just came across this. Biden changes immigration rules. Immigration rules? I thought it was a law. All right. Uh, to open more pathways for migrants. Okay. Violation of Constitution. Does anybody, does, does anybody in this country understand how this government works? Okay. Um, it's not a rule. It's law. And the president, well, his authority is to execute the law. Congress actually makes the law. So a president changing the rules. Oh, and down here it's called policy. Oh, okay. See, it's so easy to fool Americans. Just change the word. Yeah. Um, just say, hey, I'm a boy when I'm a girl. Um, oh, there's a lot of changes going on. How about um, birthing parent? Okay can't say mom and dad, daughter, son. You know, this country, it really does make you a little, I don't know, on the crazy side. Because everything that is going on is so serious. You got the left and the right screaming about, oh, you know, they want their government. They don't even know what our government is, how it was founded, constitutional republic. It is not this democracy. And just change the word, immigration. Oh, let's use policy because Americans might, there might be some left that understand that we've got immigration law and Congress is supposed to change that. Oh, right. You know, I don't know what, Okay, they're taking a jet plane. That's, that's the change. You don't have to walk anymore. You will be flown into the United States. That's the change. That's the change. We're going to fly them from the northern triangle countries, Honduras, Guatemala. Wait, wasn't it just last week our VP said don't come? I think I think probably she meant don't walk because soon enough we'll be flying you right on in. Governor Abbott, I think it was today, announced Texas is going to be building the wall to protect Texans. Well, now they'll be flown in. Oh, okay, right over the wall. Don't you feel... Ah, like you can just sit back in your comfortable chair, relax, because your government is protecting you. You know, uh, today uh, I posted a video on uh, the new strategy to combat the greatest threat, white supremacy, domestic terrorism. You feel, you feel comfortable sitting back? all relaxed. You got that, you know, security thing going on inside you. Holy shit. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's so, you know, look, um, Central American countries, children. Uh, uh, oh, under the age of 21. Wow. Okay. You know, there's an awful lot of those young, abled men coming across. 
Now they'll be flown in. Okay. Uh, and, um, oh, on your dime. Everybody's dime. We're paying for it. See, they thought it was a good idea to now fly them in. Department of Homeland Security, State Department, um, expanding the Obama-era Central American Miners Program, allowing children under the age of 21 from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, hmm, fly them in. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Because I'm going to the great United States on American's dime. What the hell are we doing here? What are we doing here? This is, you know, it's only become increasingly obvious that something's very wrong here in our country. And Americans... What are, what are you doing with this? Okay, it's a usurpation of the powers of Congress. Now, I've been, I don't know how many times I said it during that Obama era. No, look at Obama, usurping Congress's authority. Oh, uh, why is Congress allowing that? Usually, you know, once an individual gets some power, they want more power. They don't want less power. Oh, boy. This is bringing me back to the Obama days. Trump does the same thing, these executive orders, changing the rules. It's not a rule. There's a law, and he's supposed to be executing it, and our country's done. Sorry. Americans don't even know how it functions. I wonder if um, there's got to be somebody in Congress who understands that uh, we ain't right as they say down south. We ain't right. Something's going. But you don't hear that, right? We're not a democracy. Constitutional republic. Oh, boy. Well, they're flown in on your dime. And Harris just said, don't come. Don't come. There's another way, she said. (laughs) Yeah. You can leave on a jet plane. Come on in. This is how Our government protects us. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands have come across the border. Mexican cartel, gang members, MS-13. You know, I did have to wonder. Hmm. It seems they want them here sooner rather than later. That long trek. Kabbalah, that takes time, and we've got a summer of violence coming up, so we're going to have to start flying them in. Oh, yeah, we can announce it. Americans just don't think anymore. I don't know what—please, weigh in, okay? Let me know how you feel about this.